This is the construction overview of Sheikh Al Ahmed Al Sabah Causeway project in Kuwait. This project awarded from the Ministry of Public Works of Kuwait Government, MPW, and by Sistra Design. Hyundai ENC will construct it. This project is linked Ghazali area in Kuwait City to Subia New Town by six lanes in both direction with 36.1 kilometer long and the extra large longest ocean crossing bridge in the world. This project is consisted by Ghazali Transition Shuwaik Port Bridge, Shuwaik Port IC, Shuwaik Bridge, Bay Island South, Approach Bridge South, 340 meter main bridge, Approach Bridge North, Bay Island North, Subia Bridge, and Subia IC. This animation introduces about the FPSM method, which is major type of superstructure of bridge, and its construction property and success factors, plan of prefabrication, transportation, erection, and continuous works, and reduction of construction cycle. Kuwait is the desert region and the construction area is high temperature and humidity up to 53 degrees Celsius with sandstorm. Such being in the conditions of extreme climate for increasing the operational availability of the equipments as like a gantry crane, mold system, straddle carrier, transporter, floating crane, overhead crane, tire trolley, launching girder, and facilities which are reserved more than 80% of this superstructure construction works shall be the key point of the critical success factor. Therefore, Tongbang Engineering shall manage the overall phase of heavy equipments for design fabrication, transportation, assembly, operating, repair, and maintenance from the beginning phase of design to end of maintenance with own specialized organization who have many experiences in FPSM construction works. Establishing the quick setup system which is the technical supporting and executive managing staff residing at the site gives on-time decision to the major issues from the beginning phase for urgently supplying the tools and parts. And by own technical manpower, all the equipments shall be quickly setting at the job site. This project is overall carry out processing at topography condition, construction methods, design, building casting yard, prefabrication, erection, and operating very similar bridge construction works as Incheon Bridge, which is successfully done by Tongbang Engineering. Tongbang Engineering has done the constructions of Taiwan High Speed Railway, Incheon Bridge, Dubai Palm Jebel Ali Main Bridge, Abu Dhabi Underpass, Honam High Speed Railway 2-3, and 2-4 section, and East-South Railway Project, which are applied large-scale precasting erection works as well and through the know-how and amassed technical skills can be realized the no injury record and reduction of construction cycle. Also, we shall carry out this works under the protection of ecological environment and water pollution by preventing the noise, wastewater and leaking oil, etc. through close management at each phase of marine bridge works. Fabrication Yard is avoiding the soft ground at coastal area located in ROW direction to Subia 2.5 kilometers from the shoreline. And at 1,060 meters long by 640 meters width, saving the building cost of the fabrication yard by foundation filling minimized sizing. Fabrication yard is consisted with the main facilities as like a casting yard, 
general rebar process yard and batch plant, and other facilities like an equipment workshop, steel workshop, stockyard, office, labor camp, and labor safety training center. Building sequency of fabrication yard shall be build the office, labor camp, workshop, batch plant, and general rebar processing yard. The casting yard, which is the main structure of fabrication yard, shall be built by following the sequency of the concrete foundation for gantry cranes and rails. After installation of the rails for the gantry cranes, finishing the concrete bottom slab and installing assembled the gantry cranes. Then build the rebar jig and reaction wall and install the run rail and assembly the molds. Finally shall be finished the casting yard by installing the curing chamber and its facilities. FPSM casting yard is consisted with rebar stocking, rebar fixing, mold standby, casting field, and stocking yard. First stage of casting yard work. Install the fixed diaphragm rebar from the jig to the end of both rebar fixing table by gantry crane. And fixing the rebar with other bottom and side parts. Installing the bulkheads at both end of rebar cage. Setting the internal track. After this, install the inner mold and fixing the top slab rebar. And next, moving rebar cage to casting yard with bending protection frame. Setting the out mold, when arrived the rebar cage in position, then release the bending protection frame by gantry crane. For the pre-tensioning work, install the truss head and tensioning the strand wires. And start to pouring the concrete by the placing boom. After finish the pouring, starting the steam curing covered with the curing chamber and release it after finishing all. For taking out the inner mold, closing the mold and lifting by two sets of crane and pulling out by winch to move to cleaning yard. After detentioning work, release the truss and bulk head. Then lifting and moving the box girder to stockyard. Following is the transportation step of box girder. Transporter is getting into stockyard and loading the box girder on the transporter by straddle carrier for transporting to jetty by traveling 2.5 kilometers. By using standby straddle carrier, load the box girder over the barge with safety guide and support, then sailing. Before erection of box girder, performing the preparing work, as like an install the work platform, bearing system, and temporary concrete block over the pier. There are using two erection method by floating crane, 
and launching girder in this marine bridge project. Between approach bridge south and approach bridge north section, box girder will be transported by barge. It will be lifted by floating crane with the specially fabricated lifting frame. And other Subia Bridge, Shuake Bridge, Shuake Port IC, and Shuake Port Bridges will be erected by the launching girder. Lifted the box girder by floating crane will be supplied to launching girder by transporter. Folding the rear leg of launching girder. Let transporter get in under the launching girder. After lifting the box girder, release rear leg by moving backward transporter. After launching the under bridge, setting the box girder at position. The other side of viaduct also be erected using by same method. Finishing the one span erection, self launching forward for next erection. Continuous works for simply supported box girders is unified four to six spans by cast in situ and become the continuous bridge. By force tensioning. Details of this working method. Install the block form for bearing system and release this after grouting work. Assembly the rebar and sheath tube with air vent. And pouring the concrete after installed the form. Then curing. After installing the strand wire with head and wedges, start post-tensioning work. Then cutting the strand wire when finished the tensioning. And then covering this anchorage block out by non-shrinkage mortal. All the FPSM superstructure work shall be finished, finally release the TCB. And working platform after cleaning concrete surface. Dongbang Engineering shall finish this project as well as planning to reduce the construction work with cost saving as following introduction. Reduce the construction cycle by operating the automated rebar processing factory at fabrication yard. For the stable supply of processed rebar, operate the general rebar processing factory applied automated system which can manage efficiently and consistently all the processing stage from the purchasing to final production. The general rebar processing factory is consisted with stockyard, cutting machine, conveyor system, bending machine, and transporting trolley. Now introducing more detailed processing of the general rebar factory. Separated raw material of rebar by product shall be loaded on the divisional support and preparing to cutting the rebar and it shall be loading over the feeding roller for supplying to each cutting machine automatically.
and distributed on the conveyor system to transferring the rebar at bending line. After bended rebars will be packed with tag and transporting by trolley to each casting line. For supplying the RCD rebar cage for substructure works to pile foundation. Install the rebar cage forming machines and it makes five months reduction of the substructure construction cycle comparing with traditional way. Considering the super and sub-construction work, increasing the utilization of fabrication yard by applying to use two-stage operation and saving cost by using the same gantry cranes for mold line and RCD rebar cage too. Processed rebar which passed the inspection be loaded at stock table of RCD rebar cage forming machine. Installing at the end jig and form holder. Main rebar is installed at end jig and holding by bolt. Turning the rebar cage machine for welding the coil rebar. Install the rebar cage supporter when finishing to specify distance with coil rebar and lifting RCD rebar cage after finishing the welding and supply to marine site. Company has the reduction record at similar job site about five months of construction period. Using the pre-tensioning method for lateral tendons in box girder. Increasing the productivity and saving cost instead of post-tensioning method. When applied the pre-tensioning for lateral tendons, even demerit on reaction wall, can save lot of material cost, which are as anchorage, sheath tube, and grouting needed at post-tensioning method. And additionally reserve the safety two days one span of production cycle. As a leading company to make a best construction environment for no injury record till completion of this project. We'll do our best to increase our mechanized construction capability as well as reduction of the construction period and saving cost based on amassed know-how. ENC. Thank you.